think the first year was when we had to fly out to Iowa and we went out into a middle of a snowstorm and we got stuck in Chicago. It was something where it was the snowing and half the team to go, so I think, half, I don't even know how Cheryl decided, but half of us went and half of us stayed and the second team came in and I think that's where we got lost. It was crazy. It was crazy. We ended up getting two flights, um, one 12 hours apart, I think. So we, she had the juniors and seniors go on one flight first, and then the freshmen and sophomores go on the next flight 12 hours later. There wasn't much of a uh, concern for moving the game, so they, they were keeping 11 o'clock no matter what. It was difficult for our players, so they, they could have got down there. Uh, they were plowing the field. You couldn't find the balls once they went in the snow banks. You know, it's just, again, it's amazing the mentality of the team. They came out fighting. They came out as if no, nothing had happened. Anybody who arrived, I couldn't tell the difference if they had, you know, um, been up all night or whether they uh, arrived five minutes before we had to warm up. It, it just didn't matter. It was freezing cold. It was snowing. I think Terry Benhausen must have broke like six balls in half during the game. You can see it as a pretty physical game, pretty well fought game. I think Christy Cooper took a couple people out for Iowa. And, um, but they were just uh, you know, determined that they were going to make it to that NCAA Final Four. And Kerry Buttenhauser, I believe it was, with Denise Naska, one of them had a, had a great goal. I think going out there and having snow around the entire field, sleep, sleep deprived, um, not having any practice, not even being able to check the field conditions, um, and going out there and winning is pretty incredible. I think winning there when we weren't supposed to be there to begin with was, I think, my most memorable experience.